So these beautiful painted ladies, sorry, small tortoise shell, hibernate over winter. And this one was in the house. It's not gonna open its wings up for us. There we go, small tortoise shell, beautiful. And it hibernates over the winter. And it was in the house. So I'm bringing it out here so that it can hibernate in the stables, which would be a much better place for it to hibernate. Go on, can you get off? Whoops, there we go. Up, 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 no, 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 leave it alone. I need to put it somewhere a little bit better than that. so that it can hibernate and not be disturbed. You can go in there. Go on. There you go. Oh, oh. It's flown away. No once more. again, once again, one's missing. So, gotta go find it. Most annoying. Uh-oh, no response. Mom! Oh dear. Oh dear, no response, not good. Oh, there's a response. Look at that, stuck again between the wall and the fence. Different location. What are you doing? Really? Honestly, you're a daft Aegis, an absolute daft Aegis. I mean, that you got your head stuck in a branch. Goodness me, you are a daft Aegis. Quiet. Now I've got to be careful because this is a hawthorn and it's got stickles on it that can really puncture you. Now you are, as people say, you must be related to Ebony. Just a quiet. Now, come on, come on. Look, look at that, look at that. What is that all about? You could have gotten out, go on. Go on. You are a completely daft Aegis. You, the lads, the fellas, they're all eating the food over there. Go on. Go on. You are such an Aegis. Good boy, Java, chase him on. Good boy, Java. What a nap, n absolute numpty. Just walking. Can't be bothered with the fact that there's delicious food there. Absolute, complete numpty. There's probably not much left now. wasn't even really caught. Well, at least it got a little bit of food today. Complete and utter numpty. Well, it'll have a few grains of rolled barley and sugar beet. Yeah, numpties. This tree, it's a kind of crab apple. I'm going to plant right here. It's 
Got a lovely view out over the river valley. Everything is dripping at the moment. This is beautiful autumnal color. The crab apples are tiny, but it's, I think it's gonna be really beautiful. And set here, it should be really, really lovely with the dark in the background. So, get to work digging the hole. Well, there we go. Here's my square hole. I'm about to plant a puppy by the looks of it. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Anyway, you can see this tree is ready to be planted. Its roots are wrapping all around it. So, loosen out some of these roots was a good thing. Now, because also it was in a round container, I dig a square hole. The puppy, are you trying to help dig the hole more? You good boy, you digging a hole. You digging more of a hole. So, round, potted in a round pot, dig a square hole, mm -hmm. loosen the roots, loosen the roots, <laughs> dogs are being very good assistants, so these are all kind of being loosened, I don't want to damage them too much. Just loosen them out a little bit. There we go. And a little bit more down there. Oh, look. They finally decided to help. Very good. Very good. Tree planting helper. Okay. Now, this is to be planted. Inca, can you move? Good girl. There we go. Now. Now all I have to do is see which way it looks right. I think that's kind of a look right look. No, no, Java, you have to leave that alone. Leave it alone. Good boy. Yeah, I know. It's so exciting. So exciting. Um, before I fill it in, I've got to put this in, but I'm going to put this in deeper than what the hole is. So I've got to do that with two hands. What are you doing? You, I know you don't have fleas. Silly puppers. Oh, they're all having a lovely time. Okay, I've got to put the stake in to hold it up during the winter. So I've got to hammer that in before I put the rest of the soil in. So there we go. I just now have to get a tie to tie this to that. And that should work. I might get a second one to put in here. So do it, keep this in the middle as a figure of eight. Figure of eight. But uh, that's looking pretty good and solid. And I'm going to uh, get some water, even though it's rained while I've been doing this. And that is a tree planted. The beginning of tree planting season. Thyme and brindle, the best of buddies. So funny, those two always end up hanging out together. So... I need to get another one of these pencils. And uh, that's one job done. No, 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 don't dig it up. I've just planted that. Please don't dig. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, these stones I didn't include in the rebury. So I'll just use these on the bottom of a pot of tulips or something. And that one can go on a stone wall at some stage for a stone wall repair. It's a really nice kind of 
stone wall repair stone. So I think this is a beautiful crab apple. There we go, job done. Cats, dogs, and buying sheep in the distance. Hey girls! Yeah, I know. So beautiful here. There's the Copper Beach. So yeah, the Copper Beach. Then there's Hawthorn there. This is Staghorn here, a holly there, a um, plains tree there, ash, beach. Uh, what are those things called? Bamboo. Loads of stuff. So this will look really pretty here. And hopefully, it's got a few broken branches. Hopefully, it will take and become a really nice tree here. No, 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 don't dig. You good boy. Yes. You good boy. Job done. Let me back up so you can see. There, it'll be in that kind of a landscape. I'm thinking, uh, when next time I find red oak, of planting a red oak right in here, a little bit further in. That'll look beautiful there. Okay, job done. A wet night ahead, so I thought I'd just bring the horses in. Not a storm, just wet. Uh-oh, where's Miss Daisy Rose? Ah, oh, there she is. Ah. Oi! You're bold. Look at your little waggy tail. It's so mucky. So, tomorrow, there's a big sort. The weathers and the yo lambs. The weathers are the castrated males. And the yo lambs are going to be separated out of here. The horses are all in. I've got to disconnect this. There we go. Ah. Whew, it's hot. I mean cold. Whew. You can see my breath. <laughs> so the dividing up will mean that the weathers, which are the castrated males, are the ones who are, we harvest for meat. So I'll be taking them to the factory and my client list will come and pick up those lambs that they bought. So this is the last night this flock is this size with the aunties. So the weathers are the ones with the castrated tails. Uh, sorry, or yeah, with the uh, dock tails. Isn't that right? Whoop, I gave you a fright. Didn't mean to. Isn't that right, boys? Yeah. Okay, boys and girls, see you tomorrow. It's a busy day tomorrow. Busy day indeed. You gonna come down here? No, I'm not letting you out again. You've had your supper. You have a delicious, fresh, sweet bale of hay. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.